What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Hope y'all are having a wonderful week. You know, happy summer, everyone. We're now the second day into summer. iOS 16 Develop Beta 2 came in today, and the following update will include that the phone here, it came in just about um, 1.7 gigabytes. Ventura came in pretty big also, but we'll get into all that in the release notes and more. This was the official file size on this iPhone 11 at... 1.69 gigabytes. We went from the build number ending in a P to the following build number ending in an I. The current build number for beta 2 is 20A 5303I. That is the current build number for iOS 16.0 beta 2. Love it or hate it, this pop up that you get when you go into the settings, click on iOS version of iOS 16. Version this little pop up that you normally get in 16 now, where it shows this little window is still here in beta 2. Without no SIM on the iPhone, primary still showed up with no number on beta 1. However, SOS is still showing after a while, it does go back to no service. I don't know if you could still do SOS calls or if you now have to have a SIM to do it. This is really weird, and it still shows it up in the stats bar, so I'm assuming SOS calls are still available to be done without a SIM card in the iPhone, um, depending on to the iPhone model. As of now, and I'll have to monitor this and for my follow-up this weekend, this is why you should subscribe to the channel for my follow-ups every weekend now with these betas. Um, VoiceOver, when I enable it, is not jumping as much, to my knowledge. I can't get it to do it. If I go into settings... Here, we'll go to just we'll just focus on focus right now. No pun intended there. But I move the device around; it's not jumping at all. This has really got me tempted to put it back on my 13 Pro Max after what I did this weekend. I shouldn't have downgraded and should have dealt with it, but it is what it is. We're gonna jump through these iPad OS and iOS 16 release notes since my iPad's over here. But there's not much to cover on iPad OS as of now. I'll cover that this weekend during the follow up. But here we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to cover is accessibility. Known issues. Known issues. The pointer won't behave correctly on the external display if the assistive touch accessibility feature is enabled. No. So if the assistive touch um, feature and accessibility is enabled, the pointer, I'm believing this is on iPadOS 16, will not behave correctly. Workaround is to disable assistive touch while connected to a external display. Known issues. Airplay. No issue. Airplay. All right. Now, lovely Airplay. No issue. Streaming of photos and videos to Apple TV or an Airplay to enable Smart TV doesn't work if initiated from the Photos app. Nine. So, streaming photos and videos from the Photos app through Airplay on a Airplay supported TV or Apple TV is not working in iOS and I believe iPadOS 16 also. Um, workaround is to use screen mirroring in the use screen mirroring in the control center to um. Mirror your photos and videos to the supported device that is not working expectedly. App intense. Resolve no issue. App store. No issue. App tracking. No issue. App store. App Level store. Free. Let's cover app store real quickly. No issue. Reinstalling Apple's system apps can fail when only connected to a cellular network. Nine four. So reinstalling Apple's um, system apps through the app store can fail um, when you're on cellular data. Work around. Connect to a Wi-Fi network to reinstall Apple's system apps. List in. So connecting to a Wi-Fi network will fix that problem. App tracking transparency. No issue. Apple ID. No app tracking transparency. Heading app tracking three. transparency. No issue. The iPhone isn't provided to apps even if the app tracking transparency status is off. All right. So this is for developers. Apple ID. No issues. Apple ID authentic. Apple ID authentication. I heard that some people were having issues. No issue. In certain cases, such as after unlocking a device from lost mode, an Apple ID authentication might be blocked and Apple ID services rendered non-functional. The user is redirected to Apple ID settings to perform an authentication, but no authentication request is ever visible to the user. Nine, three. So essentially, when the device is put in lost mode, then out of lost mode, it blocks, for some weird reason, um, verifying Apple ID authentication on device. Rebooting it will fix it. Work rebooting the device allows the authentication to proceed. List end. So there you go. AR no issues. AR kit. No AV rooting. No NIP backup. Heading All right. level three. New thing in backup. New features in customers using iOS 16 can now back up their device over an LTE cellular connection, as well as a 5G or Wi-Fi connection. Nine, five. I don't know why that's here for some weird reason, because it does not give me the options on this iPhone 11 to do a backup over cellular unless I have to have a SIM in the phone. But um, 
the iPhone 13 Pro Max has always been able to do an iCloud backup on iOS 15 over Wi-Fi over Wi-Fi 5G and LTE. No issues. When the user restores from an iCloud backup, the restore can fail repeatedly in setup assistant if the device restarts while there is an in progress restore from an iCloud backup happening in setup assistant. Nine. Oops. That's nice. Work around. Set up the device as new. Use erase all contents and settings, and then try to restore from an iCloud backup again. So Just there end. you go. So reset the device, reset up as new, and um, reinstall the backup. CarPlay, heading level three, no issue. CarPlay. All right, heading in level, CarPlay. No Wireless CarPlay can fail to connect. Nine, five. Wireless CarPlay can fail to connect. Clock, he no issues. Deleting clock inadvertently deletes sleep alarm. Nine, two. The workaround to re-enabling your sleep alarm if you do delete the clock app is to go through health and set it back up. But those are the top release notes that I seem interested in but also thought y'all would be so there we go hope y'all enjoy this ios 16 beta 2 what's new video um hope y'all enjoy the fact that voiceover was in the background and stuff like that i tried to do the best that i can let me know what you think about ios 16 beta 2 down below and hey any feedback is more than welcome for the channel on um coverage and stuff like that please let me know and i will see y'all in another video subscribe for more peace